If you've been keeping up to date with our Facebook page, then you would have seen that DC's Boy Scout has made an appearance at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast. But why should we care for this Kryptonian? My name is Brittany, and not only did Superman steal my beating heart, but he also finally completed Movie World's superhero team. Superman was Clark Kent's super identity. His writers, Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, used the Superman title for a villain in 1933. Yeah, the Superman was a penniless joke pulled from the breadline by an evil scientist and given a potion. The man soon had telepathic powers which he used to conquer the world. What? However, soon he found out that his powers were actually temporary. And having killed the scientist, he uh, had to go back to his old life. Finally, in June of 1938, Superman was released to the public. The first story even included an introduction of Superman's powers. They included... Being one eighth of a mile and hurtling a 20 story building and invincibility that would allow nothing short of a bursting shell to pierce his skin. And although Lois Lane was present, even back then, and still thinking very little of Clark Kent, the Daily Planet was called the Daily Star. There is so much history that follows Superman, and the most recent news is his appearance at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast. Although absent for some time, off world with Crypto, or in his Fortress of Solitude, Superman is back! and currently the only Superman at any theme park around the world. The actor chosen for this role has donned a New 52 style suit with a modern take on the classic single curl. The actor has a wonderful presence and has represented the boy in blue fantastically. What I really want to point out though is the very first photo shoot that he had with his float. By this stage, I had already gotten two photos with the Boy Scout and I thought, I might sit this one out. What followed is a true representation of who Superman is. The diversity of people that lined up out front of his float was incredible. From cats to hijabs, all these different races, they all wanted to see Superman. And for his first day back at Movie World, that is fantastic. afternoon parade had a heightened sense of energy because all the superheroes were pulling costume kids from the crowd for photos and this one guy was even giving Wonder Woman a fan made gift. Supergirl gave me a high five, Batman shook my hand <laughs> and the Looney Tunes dance was just on point. It's funny what one character can do. Huge shout out for Movie World's baristas at the Village Bean for keeping me caffeinated throughout the day and for giving Team Valor a 20% discount. Pokemon Go is seriously everywhere. So head on down to Warner Brothers Movie World for your dose of hope and justice. And as always, subscribe for more of your insights into the superhero world.